nervous, Nick? No. Well, <laughs> maybe. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We picked up this beautiful walnut dining room table from Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's made by Henradon and it's part of their Circa 60 collection, which was actually made in the 50s and was to showcase their new designs going forward for the next 10 years. This one had some major cosmetic flaws, including issues with the finish and craft paint splattered all over it. I used ultra-fine steel wool and mineral spirits to remove the craft paint, and that worked pretty well but it still left the issues with the finish. Ultimately, I decided that the only course of action was to strip the finish and start from scratch. I covered up the citrus strip with flattened out trash bags to prevent it from evaporating quickly. The old finish came off very easily with a scraper. Any remaining residue was cleaned off with mineral spirits and a rag. There was still some finish remaining around the edges, so I reapplied citrus strip in some spots. Wetting down the table with mineral spirits not only lets you clean the dust, but it also allows you to see what the wood grain is going to look like when you apply a finish. We worked our way from 150 to 220 grit, 
in order to remove any blotches or other visible defects in the wood grain. For the last step of preparation, we used super fine steel wool to scuff the entire surface. This was my first time using wipe on poly, so I really didn't know what I was doing. The first few coats I did were way too thick and they resulted in visible streaks. I needed to sand it down flat again, but I didn't sand all the way down to bare wood. From here on, I tried to make every coat as thin as possible, and on occasion I sanded with 1200 grit sandpaper. All in all, I added about 10 to 12 layers of wipe on poly.
And here's the finished product.